forest in northern Australia and I'm surrounded by mangroves. Mangroves are an important part of coastal ecosystems and they provide a barrier against cyclones, hurricanes, tidal waves. They are used by many animals such as fish, birds, crabs, prawns and other animals as habitat to find shelter and to be protected from predators. The mangrove roots are used as a nursery by many different types of fish. This is a seed from one of the mangroves around where I live in northern Australia. There's a lot of different species of mangroves. Could you tell us what your name is and your occupation? Okay, so I'm, my name is David Percival. I'm retired. Um, I'm very interested in mangroves and I go to the mangroves quite often. What made you become passionate about mangroves? Um, looking for wildlife and because uh, I was always beach combing, looking on beaches. And also, I was interested in bird watching in the mangroves as well. Also, we don't, where I come from in England, there are no mangroves. Do you think mangroves are important? Mangroves are very important, a number of reasons. Um, I was in Bangladesh a couple of years ago, so they had to cut down the mangroves in the fishing villages for firewood for cooking. So, because there's no mangroves left, there was actually no fish there. The fish were all small fish, or tiny fish, there weren't any decent sized fish. Also, those fishing villages, um, when they had a big cyclone in Bangladesh, tens of thousands of people were killed by the cyclone. By the, um, the mangroves act as a buffer, buffer zone. Same thing happened in Thailand with the big tsunami there. The villages that had mangroves survived. The ones that didn't have mangroves, actually a lot of people died there. So mangroves act as a buffer zone for against strong winds and tsunami. Do you have any ideas that could solve problems facing mangroves? Yeah, number one, don't cut mangroves down. Because uh, in the Northern Territory there for some reason Mangroves are allowed to be cut down. In certain other states in Australia, mangroves are protected. Um, if you want fish, prawns, crustacean, you've got to keep mangroves. Simple as that. Do you think mangrove plantations could be grown for the benefit of carvers and wood workers? Okay, so in not so much in Australia, but in, in Southeast Asia and in Africa, mangroves are used for building and construction of houses. For example. A friend of mine said he used to see lots of Arab dows up and down the east coast of Africa with Rhizophora stylosa, like the ones that we have here, or Rhizophora types. Um, the cannonball wood is big and structural here, but hardly ever used. Not many people in Australia know much about mangroves, so they're not, not really used. Um, mangrove palm, or nipa, is used for all sorts of things in um, Southeast Asia, and it's especially for, like, for making roofs of huts and things like that. It's got a paper-like structure. I don't know if they could actually use it for paper production, but that's an interesting one. Certainly they don't use them enough in Australia. In Australia they just get two bulldozers with a big chain between them and just pull all the mangroves over and then just burn them or, or just let them lie there. They're not used. They can be replanted. Um, I've done a bit of replanting around Darwin, various types like I grow them in the garden in pots 
and then plant them out in the bush somewhere. Do you think mangrove wood could be used for a large variety of different techniques? Yes. In fact, if you look in the um, mangrove books that we've got on the Northern Territory, indigenous people use, use mangroves for all kinds of things, and especially for um, sickness, illness, everything from leprosy to toothache. So um, it certainly hasn't really been explored by Westerners the same way it's been explored by, um, say, Asian, African, or Australian indigenous people. So that's an interesting point. The problem is that mangroves aren't popular with uh, Australians, with Westerners, that there's the idea that they're disease ridden, that they're full of mosquitoes, sand flies, crocodiles. Um, it's, not, it's not quite true. There's a lot of interesting um, things about mangroves which have yet to be realised. I've hardly ever seen crocodiles inside the mangroves. You might get them up creeks, but actually in the mangroves, forests themselves, um, unless it's high tide where you don't want to be there anyway, you hardly ever see crocodiles in there. I think the awkward to move around in, that you need, you need boots or some sort of special, special footwear, that the mud can be very deep sometimes, that it's easy to get lost in mangroves, but um, I know friends of mine who've been lost because it didn't know the tree species. If you know the tree species, then you can find your way around because the trees grow in order as to how much salt water they can stand, how much they can tolerate. Thank you. What's your name? Uh, my name is Kamalita. Yeah, I come from the Tiwi Island, north of Darwin, 80 k's from Dar um, Darwin. Yeah. And in the mangroves, when we go in the mangroves, we collect a lot of um, seashells. There's a lot of seas, different shells, like um, um, cockle shells. This one, yeah, this, like the, yeah, this, this one, them one, yeah, cockle shells, and periwinkle is like a small, um, bit, bit, bit smaller or sometimes, but haven't got the shell, actually, the shell itself, but it's in the main, um, collect them in the mangroves, in the mangroves. And also periwinkles, it's like um, like a long bum. They call it in a long bum. Um, yeah, we collect that and we just like we cook it too in the coal, roast it in the coal. Um, and yuli worm, it's sort of like a like a like a worm, but it's not that. Um, Chick, like like a real worm now. This uh, from the we chop it up in the tree, and then we pull it out from the tree, and then we why eat it? Put it in our mouth, eat it. It's like good for digesting for her, you know, stomach. Clean the stomach, like in a way, like for example, like I'm a TV lady. I normally go out. When I'm at home, I go hunting with my families. When I was a little, I used to go out hunting with my mom and dad. They used to take me right in the bush and show me inside the mangrove and show me what sort of um, bush tucker we to collect and to take home and cook it in the fire. It's got a lot of, lot of them seashells and long bomb shells, cockle shells, and 
you got like a we call it yearly web and it's sort of yeah and it's good we get and crab we crab collect crab too and mud mussel from the mangrove there's different kind of variety of um um push chaka in the in the mangrove you can collect um, yeah it's good to um for us you know salt especially salt water people that's our in our way of collecting um, um our salt water food in the mangrove and it's like a lot of um vitamins you know just a lot of vitamins in in them so we collect them we not to we don't collect the wrong ones we collect the right ones yeah to take back or cook it in the bush and put it in the coal is like come out like a you know, cook really cook in, like in the oven mm, it's really tasty too you eat the, the bush chaka in from the mangroves and the crab and we get it we put it in the coal too and make sure we cook it like in the paper bag or sometimes you know wrap it up in the paper um, make a big fire dig a hole and make a big fire put it in the and when the fire goes down and then we chuck all the shells and and whatever you know we, we collect from the mango put it in the coal then it comes out really cooked it's yummy too, you know. But when it cooled down, then we eat um, that bush taka from the mangrove. It's really tasty too, and good to eat. Like in our way, like we we do that, you know. Instead of um um eat like what people food or some sometimes we go buy food in the in the woolworths or cows but normally we like to go out in the mangroves and collect bush chaka there and we eat it and then it makes us really good you know and it's really healthy to eat um the the bush fruit from the mangroves yeah it's really good Wow, that's really yeah, interesting. It, yeah, that's that's why our way of you know learning. We learned that from our ancestors. That t that taught our ancestors. Then that came from um, generation onwards to us. Then maybe we gotta teach our young ones today. So when they have their children, they go out in the bush and then teach their children and from that on it goes, you know, so they'll, they know um, how to collect the bush chaka and from the mangrove, yeah. Wow, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thanks for watching, bye.